I sometimes wonder what people are thinking when they see us pull up to a trailhead with a bunch of bikes on the back of our cars and disappear in the woods for a few hours. It might be a bit of a head scratcher for some, but the truth is there are any number of motivating factors for many of us who choose to do this. That being said, I think a lot of us look at mountain biking as one hell of a fun way to keep the kid in us alive and well. North Carolina is the gateway to Pisgah National Forest's grandfather district and may very well be home to some of the best trails on this side of the Mississippi. The community of riders there is passionate and motivated and they're intent on making sure that mountain biking will be around for generations to come. You want to keep the kid in you alive and well? Well then, go ride your bike with a bunch of kids. So I need, uh, can you tell me what your name is and what you do for a living? Sure. Uh, my name is Paul Stahlschmidt. Um, I am an advisor at App State here as, as well as an instructor. My name is Melissa Weddle. Uh, I am a professor at Appalachian State University. Uh, I teach in the Parks, Recreation, and Tourism Management area. My name is Christian Jackson and I'm a senior lecturer in Recreation Management at Appalachian State. I've been in Boone uh, 11 years. What originally brought me to the area was a job. Um, I'm originally from northern Indiana in the Midwest. I was not real familiar with Boone. Uh, I grew up in, in the flats um, and there are many things I love about it, but I have always had kind of this dreamy affair with the mountains. I, I came here as a, as a young child with a family. Um, when we first moved to North Carolina, we visited Boone. As it's struck by the mountains, you know, coming from the Midwest and, and you know, not seeing this the kind of physical geography, you know, the topography opportunities. Um, this was really inspired and it kind of been stuck in my in my in my mind from a very early early time. There's a lot of outdoor recreation that uh, you know a lot of us are involved in. Um, you know, and obviously mountain biking. There's a lot of public lands in the area that uh, you know, we have state parks and. National Park and um, you know Corps of Engineers land that's off the mountain in an area that's 10 degrees warmer, and um, you know of course the National Forest. So we have we have a lot of public lands around here to recreate on, and it's just a nice nice place to be. I have been biking for as long as I can remember. Um, I, my dad was in the bike industry when I was growing up, so as a young, very young child, so I had bikes were all around the house, and and I remember he came home from a trade show and with a flyer from you know it's like show me this this bike and I'm like cool what's that it's, like, it's a mountain bike I'm like whoa what do you do with it you know it's like you ride trails you ride on the mountain in the mountains and as this is in, in Illinois and you know I just that kind of it, it, you know, stuck in my head as well and I, I, I graduated high school got my first mountain bike well this is where I started mountain biking uh, back when I was in school um, I'd ridden bikes as a kid, like many of us have, but um, you know, right here was my first real experience with mountain biking, and um, moved around a, 
a few different uh, colleges that I worked at and different places in the state. And when I came back, I got you know, involved with it again in a big way. I would say what started out was um, I only had a few gals that I rode with. There weren't a lot of women that could go down and handle Pisgah or Wilson Creek or wanted to. We were part of kind of a women's uh, Belle Joy ride, mm -hmm. uh, kind of a women's um, organization that came out and, and tried to build some community. And that's when things really changed for me. That created this regional community for me of women that live off the mountain in other areas that um, I rode with this weekend. And in fact, I showed up at a parking lot on Saturday and there were a group of over 20 women who were camping and getting ready to ride. And I thought to myself, um, I would never have seen that 20 years ago. And so that's real, real exciting for me. for me, my motivation and driver has been, um, I want to be really open and inclusive. So if I see a woman in a parking lot and she's a beginner, she's new, or we work with the kids mountain bike programs that um, they're young girls riding, I want to be that person that I never saw. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a legacy, but, you know, but being able to actually say the community is better because of efforts that I helped with is, is a pretty rewarding thing. It's fun. Um, to, to involve others in that and um, not just get a great place to ride out of it but you know to kind of look back and see that it's a you know it's it's made its mark those efforts have made its mark on the community that hopefully are, are semi-permanent at least yeah I think from the get-go for me with with mountain biking it's it's always been about skill and, and challenge and how you know an individual skill matches up with the challenge at hand on the trail and and when those things coordinate really well it's the flow state right it's the classic 
classic flow state. It's just, and it's, it's obviously it gives such a great sensation, but the deeper than that, it's it's a, it's about this merging of of action and awareness, where you're you're doing like you're doing mountain biking, right? It's 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 you're not thinking about it anymore. It's you're you're part of the trail. You're the experience of flowing through through whatever it is, whether it's uphill or downhill, and your action, the who, who you are, your own identity, is what you're doing. You know, and that experience that you get is it produces such an immense satisfaction, and and it's like a sense of gratitude of, of being able to be able to do this, being able to be in a, a, this, a pristine area, the mountains, you know, in nature and it, it, it just creates an amazing quality of life. Well, aside from you know the physical health benefits, everything like that, it's it's just a it's a fun thing to be involved with. I keep saying that because I think it's um, you know we all have our recreational modalities, but uh, for people that uh, are new to mountain biking, um, you know there's there's a chance to get your feet wet with it and um, you know dabble with some new trails and and hopefully some nice modern trails that um, you know can get you going and then. Uh, for those that are really experienced mountain bikers, you know, to have a variety of different types of tr places to ride, different trails, different challenges. Um, um, I think that's, that's really what the community um, benefits from. That sense of satisfaction, though, is, is a motivator. It's a motivation to share it. It's like, well, why keep this? Why keep this to yourself? Why not bring somebody along? And you're sharing with somebody else, whether it's you're out with your friends, your family, your crew. You know, there's that there's that kind of collective ha that happens, right? Where this is this a shared satisfaction, shared quality of life, and we you get done, you're you're at the swimming hole, and you're you know it's just it's good times and high fives, and you're planning the next time you do it. And for me, what that you know, it's over the years, what that that's inspired me to do is then we'll. we'll what's the next level of progression beyond that and you know that's really turned into for me it's turned into two other things which is coaching and trail building we're seeking that that similar experience and, and, to, and to coach them coach these riders into understanding how to be a more skillful rider how to have more confidence when you ride how to it equates to having more fun the trail building side for me is is like the true like real giving back like being able to be able to have a, a, you know, this canvas like Rocky Knob to be, to be able to design and build something that's distinct and that makes you like stop and look at something. It's like, wow, that, like, that's a really cool interpretation of, of the mountain and I want to ride that again. I think a, a long day in the woods in Pisgah appeals to me because it's hard. Um, I like the fact that um, I don't know what I'm going to get that day depending on the weather. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen mechanically, technically. Uh, I don't know when I'm driving in the car if I'm going to feel great that day or I'm going to walk stuff that I've ridden before. Um, but I know that it's going to be a great day. There's something about our, our world today that is so fast and my Google Calendar tells me exactly where to be and what to do. But when I spend a Saturday in Pisgah, uh, my calendar's clear and I have no cell service. Um, and I have no expectations, and something about that fills um, me.
H.G. Wells once famously said that every time he sees an adult on a bicycle, he no longer spares for the human race. I have to think that if Mr. Wells had ever taken a trip to Boone, he'd probably leave calling this his happy place. I definitely call it mine. <laughs>